all right guys welcome to another time out with me on the channel my name is alec godwin if you're here for the first time and today we are continuing from where we stopped this is where we this is where our setup is been so far we put on the cage in our last video of course you saw me put all this stuff you can watch the previous videos anyway today we are going to rig up my stuff just like i would want to use it actually i'm shooting today um i'm less than two hours away so i just want to while i set up my rig for the shoot get it on camera and um, know, let you know what i got going on all right so the first thing we need is is my base yeah you probably know it already but it's the quick release small rig uh, uh 50, 50 millimeters rock uh setup and then of course it comes with this uh plate so one of the things we want to first do on this is uh take off this guy up i know i may not have to do that but for now this is what i have this is what i'm going to be using till my top handle arrives i have an issue with this this thing with the one mouth it wouldn't fit um when I put this thing on, um, we have a space for it, but it just wouldn't hold. I think it needs another screw. And this setup doesn't entirely um, exactly match with this, so I can I don't see me using this for now. All right, I've got this one. I have so many of them. They are all over the place. So many rigs, so many parts. Um, I think this will be fine. Let me put this in first. Aha, just like I suspected. So I have the perfect one now that will work. It looks like the one that comes with it just a little bit longer. Okay, so we got ourselves after years of uh, wasted rigs, at least some things can pay off now. All right, so we got the three quarters and the three eighths. One quarter and three eighths, so that's even better. Ready. Let's hold it for a second and get it in. All right. So it's in place. That's the other one. Okay. Okay. I've got it done. Let's position it right. I want to center it, I guess. And we go. Okay, solid. Okay, so now let's go with this. Should be easy. And here we go. And then now we can tighten up our quick release. Here we go. Lock. And that's a wrap. Okay, we begin. Now um, I'm gonna just go ahead and get this one out of the way. Something to protect it in case it falls. All right, I'm gonna sit right and knock off some of the light. Okay, so we'll take on this guy here. Yep, so it's too small for the camera. But then I gotta make do for now. Like I said, I'm gonna use what I have I already ordered for the parts, but this is the only thing I think I'll change uh, later from after I set it up. And here we are. This guy from Condor Blue. Now, now I do like this over this. This one I have been able to mount um, ten um, seven feet a seven inch monitor on this, and it, it holds it steady. This one feels like it can, but it will not fit because of this bar here. So you can only stick with your four, um, five inch monitors on this guy. So that's what I want to do on this rig. So I might as well just stay with this because it rhymes with all my colors. Okay, I think we're good. 
Remember this setup? Yeah, it was part of my Blackmagic 4K rig. Old videos, if you want to laugh, you can go check them out. <laughs> but they had some good insight there. You know, I had a lot of rig, rig, rig up videos for from back in the days. Yep, this one. Now this was the one that came underneath the Pocket 4K that will mount up like this. And I showed you in the video, in another video, I'll write the, I'll put the links here, um, <clears throat> that you could convert this, how you could convert this into this. And because of uh, the outlets that they have, it, but why I prefer this is because it's flush. It's not standing erect. It is from the way I set it up, instead of vertically, I put it horizontal. You, you probably want to see that video um, if you have this stuff. So you don't need to go buy any other thing. Okay, that should do. You can still play around back and forth. <laughs> well, of course, um, yeah, I think I should have put this side on the other side, like, so this knob. So um, I guess next time I'll, I'll switch it up, but bottom line is it swivels and it can stay away. All right, so it's coming up. Next is this guy. Guess, guess, guess what is in here. Water bottle? <laughs> nah. I learned my lesson the hard way. I was, my last video I was shooting in a desert, dusty mountain. And I, I almost cried, in fact I cried secretly. When my zoom lens, when my diesel films zoom got messed up in dust. Ah. Yeah, so this is for lenses. Um, if you can take this one, I'm sure you can take a, It's from Tarion. Very well padded. Wed, wedding videographers will probably like this. So, links will be in the description. Now, let's bring the celebrant in here. The lens, <laughs> and now we feel the weight. You see this? You see why I cannot do without rigging this camera? My setup, the lenses that I use. Ah, well, especially this one, and this is key to my production. So, for my everyday work horse, yeah, I gotta, I gotta let this thing ring. So, um, let me see if I can do without moving this forward. Uh, meanwhile, we will need uh, my follow focus in here. Something here, if it will fit. It's also from Smorig. It's just a grip for. I can't even remember what camera now. A6400, was it? One of those cameras. Um, but it could go, it could work for a lot of others. Um, yeah, I think, yeah. We got a spot here, so I can make it work over here. So if that's the case, then screw this in. <coughs> Not bad. All right. Here is the DP five hundred. How it looks. Da -da -da -da. We have this is good. I love this because it matches with all my condo blue setup. <laughs> okay. There we go.
I'm gonna use this mic from Comica. I have something else that's really good, but uh, can't find it right now. But this should work. Love it, especially as it is lightweight. That's gonna be nice. I really did not plan to get this. I still feel like I haven't gotten it. It came with the rig. It's part of the rig, so I'm not used to screens, but I know it's good. So I'm gonna put that on. Ooh, I see it melting. I just see it melting as I put it in. See that? I don't know if you see it. It's just, it's just absorbing it on its own. I didn't even have to do nothing. As soon as it, I was going to start pressing and rubbing, they took it. All right, let me fix this guy moving around over here. This guy is calling for help. Let's settle this guy. Screw this guy in. Screw this guy. Yep, we're good. So that should be good. No moving parts. Yep, yeah, yeah. I think we got a solid rig now. So somehow this guy is, is supporting, so my hand underneath it is it's also a grip. This works, but um, I think this will, will help me, like support it in between. And right gripping this so I can do this. And my arm will kind of uh, lean, um, use this hand grip on the side like it's uh, you know, grip while I do this. Okay, if you trust your, your setup, yeah, you won't be scared. Um, let's see. Put this here. And tighten. Okay. So I think I will work with that because on set, I don't want to be tightening that stuff. In fact, I don't even have access to it anymore. Okay. This works fine. This works fine for me. I know I'm going to take this one out and put this one in at some point in set, so I don't want to have to fight with that. So I'm going to work with that as it is. These things are positive and negative. I guess it won't go in any other way. Okay, so it's correct. So hold this sideways and do it.
Take one. 